We're talking today with Father Neville O'Donohue, pastor since 2011 of St. Joseph's Catholic Community. He'll be our last Marianist pastor, as the Marianists are leaving as of June 30th. Father Neville, what did you want to accomplish in your time as pastor? Well, I'm uh, answering Arlene Clare here, asking difficult questions as usual. Arlene uh, was the first chair of the Parish Pastoral Council I had when I was here uh, from 2011 to 2012. What did I want to achieve? I've been thinking a bit about that and I think I have to start personally. Um, I, I think I know myself as a forgiven sinner. I know myself as somebody who has received the mercy of God and I suppose the shame and the guilt of having been a person who sinned weighed heavily on me and then the mercy of God lifted that. And so I wanted to, first of all, let people know of that and minister in that spirit. And that's, that's important because it came from my sort of personal journey. Maybe something then that uh, happened more at a level of study was um, hearing uh, in seminary how in preaching uh, one person sort of dismissed a lot of the highfalutin language of how to preach and said quite crisply, you must preach consolation. The, God, the word of God is a word of consolation. Preach it. And that certainly had an influence. I think the third influence, and maybe what I wanted to achieve, or what I felt I could offer anyway, um, was, came, was something coming from my Marianist tradition, my Marianist charism. And that was a certain emphasis on baptism and the fact that um, God calls us into himself through baptism and we must live our baptism. So I'd far less focus on, say, religious orders or the hierarchy, uh, but wanted to ignite uh, people to live their baptism, which meant, I suppose, I was looking for and hoping for a community where the diversity of the baptized would be ignited and that there would be, therefore, a community with lots of diversity there, but all rooted in the shared baptism we have. So they were the sort of the dynamics uh, that, I, that I felt I had uh, wanted to offer anyway. And I was thinking a little further, if I may go on, as I want to do, <laughs> um, that I had certainly witnessed in my younger life uh, in the, and particularly in the Irish church, a sort of a ministry where father knew everything. Um, father was an expert in canon law. He was, um, you know, able to do youth ministry. He was a counselor. He, he knew everything about marriage, of course, um, and all these various facets that would have, and he was to be an expert in all of them. I'm caricaturizing, obviously. And it was uh, uh, Bishop Bruno Forte, an Italian bishop, who in thinking about this said, being a priest and being a, a, a pastor is not about having a synthesis of all ministry. No. Being a pastor and being a priest is being offering the ministry of synthesis. So you, 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 you find the youth minister, you find the person who lives marriage beautifully and you ignite them to speak, uh, etc. And you you, as it were, orchestrate um, all these various ministries and you try to synthesize them into a service of God. So there, there may be some of the things I was hoping to do that I bring some of this flavor, but I don't think I had a project uh, on, on arriving. I think that came later. And, and this uh, ministry of synthesis hmm. is is fondly known in the parish as being voluntold. Oh, voluntold. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, 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 You've heard that a few times. I have heard that a few <laughs> times. And I, you know, I often, you know, um, have come across people and thought, ah, I wonder, would they? Ah, I wonder. And then there are people I, you know, I would really like to get, you know, my goodness, if we could have that 
you know, and and so I wear people out, and uh, some people do succumb, and others, uh, you know, they give me a few years and then they're exhausted. Uh, but uh, people have been very generous, and I'm so appreciative. Uh, so many of them said yes to my suggestions, some of whom, some of which were very half baked. <laughs>